Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today's section we are going to see a hacker at problem that is BC pass. It is present in basics inputs and outputs. The question link is given in the description. You can go through the question. Now I'm going to explain the main contents of the question. We have to count the vowel present after the consonants. That is the main thing in the in this question. How to count the vowel that is present after the consonants? First, we have to get the test case, and the, then we have to get a size, size of a string, and we have to enter the string of that size. Look here, the output should be three. Here, you have three vowels present after the consonant. So, A is the vowel, E is the vowel, I is the vowel. It is present after that consonant. Likewise. If we take the example A B U, here output is one. Only one vowel U. It is present after the consonant. That is B. Another input. If we take the example O, output should be zero because uh, no consonant is present before that. Now we are going to solve this problem using C programming. First, I'm going to enter the essential variables. That is i, j, t, n. And a char array. Scan of. Now I'm going to get the test case. This t. Now to use the for loop, i equal to zero, i less than t, i plus plus. After that, we have to get the string. Now we have to get the length, length of that string. Then we have to scan a string of that size. If n is equal to equal to one, we have to print zero. That is the third third case we have seen. Else, Else we have to check a condition. First we have to use the for loop j equal to zero, j less than n minus one, j plus plus. If ch of j is not equal to a, it should not be a vowel. First, we are checking the consonant condition. Ch of j is not equal to e. Likewise, A E I O Q. 
how to give undone condition indent yeah if it enters the loop it should be checked for another condition that the next value should be a vowel for that j j plus 1 is equal to equal to a how to check our condition j plus 1 is equal to equal to e how to repeat that u i o if it is true we have to increase the count value count plus plus how to declare the count variable by zero int count equal to zero yeah we have completed everything and we have to print that count after all loops enter percentage d next line count yeah now i'm going to run the program yeah the sample test case is passed i'm going to submit it yes all the test case is passed Thank you guys thanks for watching if you have any queries post me the comment thank you